Yesterday, I reported on the 1925 solar eclipse. I noted that the very first commercial radio broadcast was transmitted in 1920 from a station in Pittsburgh with the call sign KDKA. Also in Pittsburgh, about 50 years before, existed the Eclipse Oil Refinery, and it was owned and operated by a chemist named Tweddle. Now, I'm not sure if that's right, so from here on out, I'm just going to refer to him as the chemist. So, oil refinement was a dangerous profession in the late 1870s. The Pennsylvania crude was highly combustible and very volatile, and it was common for explosions to occur. And in 1873, it did just that. One of the stills caught fire and his entire operation was destroyed. But the chemist was a man with a plan and decided to move his operation north to be in the heart of the oil industry. He moved to Venango County after purchasing about eight acres of land along the Allegheny River on the Reno Road between Franklin and Oil City. The chemist had many patents for his refining process, and brought them with him to the area. His oil works manufactured many, but not all, of the byproducts of oil, and he averaged 1,000 barrels a week after moving to Franklin. Now, by this time, he had partnered with local oil men, Egbert, Mackey, Moorhead, and Mitchell and they formed the Eclipse Lubricating Oil Company. And this team of men had agents selling their oil across the East Coast and in Europe. By 1876, the group were approached by Rockefeller's Standard Oil men. And after selling the business to them, the Eclipse Works became part of the Atlantic Refining Storage Company. And it was the only refinery in the world at that time to manufacture every sellable byproduct of petroleum and paraffin wax. So they had the market. And with Rockefeller's investment, the oil works capacity increased to 5,000 barrels a day. And it was now run by Lewis and McIntosh, two Franklin oil men. And evidently, a sole telegraph wire was their lifeline to the rest of the world. This story of the wire was reported in the September 11, 1929 edition of the News Herald. For the last 40 years, a telegraph wire stretching between the Eclipse Works and the Franklin office of the Western Union Telegraph Company has been in constant service through all kinds of weather, giving an example of real hardiness and efficiency. The Eclipse refinery, where this wire was put in operation at the time, employed four operators. There was a network of telegraph lines built extending from this section to all of the principal cities and to many points in the oil fields in the surrounding territory. But of them all, this is the only original wire still remaining in service and doing its stuff daily. In its almost 40 years of service, it has carried many hundred of messages of the oil field history during its earlier existence. It witnessed the rise of the rich oil fields in Pennsylvania from what was almost a wilderness with widely scattered villages and farms to what is now a settled valley comprising the enterprising cities of Franklin, Oil City, and Titusville. Up until a few years ago, the Eclipse works of the Atlantic Refining Company were served by this wire. And although many changes have about since 1890, this old string continues to flash the message of the Atlantic Refining Company to the Western Union to all parts of the world. By the time the solar eclipse passed over the oil works in 1925, 
Rockefeller's monopoly had already been broken up, and the Eclipse Oil Works was operating under the ownership of Atlantic Refining, which was now a separate company from Standard Oil, and eventually became known as Atlantic Oil, which operated gas stations across the nation. Ultimately, after years of buyouts and acquisitions, it is today known as ARCO. And for a video on that history, stay tuned.